Praise God Church. Praise God again. My name is Judy Akinyi. I'm born again. I came to this church in September, on actually September 12th, and I got born again right on this ground. And uh, I've been praying. I thank God. There's a weekend we are here and we're given holy water, uh, holy oil, the anointing oil for restoration. And I got the chance to go back to the village. And I just prayed and dropped it all around the home in all the corners of my father's home. And I sat back and I said, Lord, let your will be done. So earlier in uh, August, I lost my job, August 20th, under very weird circumstances. And uh, I just let that go. But during this period when I was at home after administering the oil, I got a call from a client I met before in my previous job. And she asked me, Judy, do you, are you attached anywhere? And I told her, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm just at home. I'm back in the village. She told me, OK, I think you should come to Nairobi. On Monday, you have an interview. So I traveled to Nairobi on Sunday. And um, Monday, I went to the office, that office. It's at Parkland Sports Club. And they needed an administrator. And she told me, there's no interview. You actually have the job. Yeah. What I want to tell everybody on this ground, there is God here. And there's a God in heaven. All you need to do is believe. Have faith. The prophet will just tell you, keep on praying. God is good. He'll do something. I have so many other testimonies. I don't want to talk about them. So many revelations. I don't want to talk about them. But what I know, there's a God in heaven. Last but not least, be encouraged. And um, I still have one more prayer. And I know God is going to answer me. Genesis 2.24. Thank you. Be blessed. Praise God. Praise God, church. I'm dealing with my resistance. Uh, that's why my one of my foot in a heart. But uh, my testimony, my big testimony today, on the day of the Sunday of 17, the 10, the 2021, the Restoration Sunday, God restored my health. I have been battling with my health for three years, and then on the one-on-one, -on -one, I met the man of God, and he prayed for me, and I was restored on my on my health. I wanted to come today so that I can testify that I'm clean, my health is okay, but um, I wish this foot was working well so that I could jump because I'm, I feel so much fulfilled in my heart. I have been crying for God just to restore, to restore me in all areas and he chose to, to deal with what I thought was big, was a mountain, but he handled it for me. And I'm so grateful. Sifia Kanisa. Mi naitwa Dominic. Nina machache kuhusu maisha yangu. Na yale Mungu amenitendea since I started coming coming to this church. Hapo nyuma nimekuwa na mambo mingi concerning my family. Shetani amekuwa kinitasa sana in terms of marriage. Sijakuwa na amani kwa ndoa yangu kumekuwa na msuko msuko wale watu wana, wana wale wazazi wanaelewa mambo yale yanakwanga kwa familia wakati mtu ame, ame, ameoa so since i started coming to this church i've seen a lot of changes the lord has restored my family we are now living so peacefully paka spizi zile majina zilikuwa tunaitana kitambo zile zilipotea zimerudi saida ndiki ma coffee poa so at least naweza sikia naitwa baby baby leo tutakula nini wazee kama unataka kuitwa zile ma, zile majina za kitambo wakati mlikuwa mkidate ni hapa hapa tu <laughs> the other thing that the lord has done to me is about my relationship with the lord since since i started coming to this church nimekuwa nikiomba hapo mwanzo sikuwa na jomba na maombi mimi ni ule mtu alikuwa anaomba kwa ba on sunday sikifikwa cha cha yangu ni 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 ba ni kukunywa tu but since i i, I came to this church ni badilika kabisa naomba Naomba ile serious mpaka bibi anashangaa anachoka na niacha nikiomba tu 
So that is one of the restoration that the Lord has made to me. Now, the other thing about the, my re restoration and relationship with the God is that what is a cause of Kazi? Like in Ikifika each and every Saturday, last month the party Kazi. The last last month, you want to find Kazi Saturdays only. What is it? What is this that God does with me? You, I can spend the whole week at home. Like in Ikifika Saturday, I must get a call. Kazi. So I was shared with my wife using Kamuliza, what is happening? I can be God has something to do with you. Attack you cause a fair quenta canisani. So na shukuru mungu. Emmanuel. Okay, indeed God is with us. My name is Beth Nyambura and I'm born again. My testimonies is about yesterday. Nilikuwa kwa shop yangu. I'm a, I have a shop of cereal shop. Nilikuwa nimeka. I was there meditating about the service of today. Because for sure, when I know this ministry, I, do, I knew this ministry through my husband. And from this year, the whole of this year, January, indeed God has been good to my family, to my business, and even to my kids. You can remember the last time I was here, I was crying because of my daughter. For God, God has been good. She is doing well. She is obedient. She is doing her studies very well. My testimonies of yesterday was I was in my shop meditating. When I was sitting down, meditating, telling God, come through, see how Corona is doing. Kuna watu wamekufa, mimi sijazika mtu yote. I'm alive with my family. My family at Ushago, they are well, they are doing well. I felt a very sharp pain from here. I couldn't even bend, I couldn't even turn. So I start saying, what is this now? Tomorrow is a church. What am I supposed to do? I start saying, God, have mercy on me. As our TB Joshua always tell us, take more of me, give more of you. I meditated that thing, but the pain was too much. Even I couldn't do anything. I started saying, God, what am I going to do? My neighbor who is called Joy, she told me, Beth, can I get you some painkillers? I said, no, I'm well. I got into my bag, my hard mug. I don't left my anointing water. I came with it. I meditated with it. I poured it some on my hands. Then I applied on that thing. Breath and within no minutes, the pain has gone. And I give God all the... I give God all the glory and the honor back to him. Brethren, I can encounter you to believe in this ministry. There is God. There is a living God. We have gone so many churches, but yet we can't see God. But the moment I attended to this service, I tell you, I, can, I know there is God in this ministry. So I encourage everybody, whatever you are going through, whatever you are stressed on, just leave it to God. He will make a way for you. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. My name is Jacqueline. I thank God for this opportunity. Na mshukuru mungu kwa nafasi ambo amenipatia kusimama hapa kushudia. Nilijua kanisa hili kupitia my friend ambo anaishu kukangemi. Tena kaniambia nifuatilia kupitia Facebook. Yu nikaanza kufuatilia. Nilipo anza kufuatilia nikaona mungu vile anatumia mtumishi wake. Na nilikuwa so, nilikuwa chini sana hiyo wakati. It was last year when my husband lost the job tukakuwa hatuna namna ya kuishi lakini Mungu akakuwa aka pamoja na Bwana Yesu asifiwe na kumbuka ilikuwa this year mwezi wa pili tukiwa huko chini nikakuja huko chini posta na nikawa nina imani najua nikikutana na mtumishi wa Mungu najua mambo itaenda kubadilika Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati tulienda mahali pale tukapatana na mtumishi wa Mungu nilikuwa kwa na imani nikabeba picha ya mume wangu tukaomba na mtumishi wa Mungu Na hiyo siku nika, nikawa na 200 shillings. Nikambia mungu, through this sacrifice, you have 200 shillings. Nataka mungu ukaweze kujionesha. Na ikakuwa hiyo siku, banangu alikuwa menda kufanya interview. The same same day, alifanya interview na akapata kazi. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Na mshukuru mungu, langu ni kutia mtu moyo. Hata wakati unapoenda, just sacrifice inaongea sana. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Kupitia hiyo kidogo tuniliambia Mungu wache hii sacrifice ikaweze kumtetea na Mungu akaenda kutenda Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Niko na testimony nyingine lakini si yangu. Ni kupitia kwa my daughter in law. Wakati nilikuja hapa 
ilikuwa mwezi wa kumi Huyo mtoto ame, yani wako na mtoto amekuwa akiwasumbua sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kila saa mtoto ana converse na hiyo siku nikiwa mahali nafanya kazi akanipigia simu. It was last month tarehe 15. Akaniambia mtoto wako Kinyata na walikuwa ameenda for check up na ameconverse na mtoto wako wa ICU. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka kuambia kuna nguvu ya ufufuo katika hii madhabahu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati my sister in law alikuwa mahali pale mtoto alipata kwenda kabisa akaambiwa na madaktari huyu mtoto amekufa because hata oxygen aingii bwana yesu asifiwe nikiwa mahali pale akaniambia chukua gari ukuje mpaka kinyata nikachukua manake mimi nimetoka saidi ya pipeline nikachukua ambasava kwa imani nikaambia mungu huyo mtoto hata kufa bwana yesu asifiwe kwa akili yangu nikakumbuka mtumishi wa mungu nikajaribu kumpigia simu ashiki simu nikijaribu kumpigia yo namba nyingine ashiki simu nikasema eh Shetani kweli amenipata Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini si kufa moyo nikaandika just a message nikaambia nika wakati niliandika that message nikapata nguvu nyingine nikajua kweli huu mtoto ataenda kukufa Bwana Yesu asifiwe mtumishi wa Mungu aku reply lakini kwa imani nikiwa katika hiyo gari niliambia Mungu nikiwa nina intercede either atakufa katika jina la Yesu atasimama kumtukuza Bwana Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati nilifika mahali pale stadium my sister in law akanipigia simu akaniambia mtoto amekojoa kama uko na pesa unaweza nibaia troza nilete bwana yesu asifiwe nikamshukuru mungu nikiwa mahali pale nikajua kweli mungu amerudisha uhai wa mtoto bwana yesu asifiwe nilikuwa na anointing oil ambayo tulikuwa tumepatiwa mwezi wa tisa na siku nimeitumia nikachukua hiyo nikaenda nayo mpaka kinyata wakati nilifika pale nikaangalia mtoto nikaona kusema ukweli hata hakuwa mgonjwa anaitisha chakula walikuwa nasema ni tonsils lakini mtoto wa Mungu amemrecover Bwana Yesu asifiwe nikaanoint yule mtoto na nikapata ile anointing nikawaambia kifika kwa nyumba waenda wakatumie Bwana Yesu asifiwe ule mtoto sasa hivi ni mzima hata ameanza shule Bwana Yesu asifiwe na Namshukuru Mungu kwa uponyaji na urejesho Bwana Yesu asifiwe Another testimony ni kuhusu mama mwingine nikikuja kanisani ilikuwa two weeks ago kuna mama nikiwa katika kwa gari alikuwa na mtoto mdogo karibu uani ya hivi. Huo mtoto akaanza kulia tukiwa kwa gari. Mtoto akalia akalia. Nikauliza huyu mama, "Kwani huyu mtoto ni mgonjo?" Akaniambia huyu mtoto asikii vizuri. Mama akalia akalia aka, mtoto analia mama analia. Eh hey, nika nika nikaguzwa sana. Nikamuliza, "Kwani kuna shida?" Akaniambia huyu mtoto kuangalia kwa kichwa hapa alikuwa na pipe. Ambao hiyo pipe akaniambia aliyekewa ya kutoanga uchafu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Akaniambia ukiona akilia hivi, hii pipe ime block. Katika moyo wangu nikaanza kuomba, nikamwambia Mungu usikubali huu mtoto akakufa. Tulipotoka tuliposhuka kwa gari hapa town, nikamwambia, yani alikuwa analia kabisa huu mtoto. Huyo mama ame lose hope na huyo mtoto. Nikamwambia acha nikupatie namba kabla hujafika Kinyata upigie mtumishi wa Mungu kabla saa sita najua ataomba na wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na mshukuru Mungu manake hata ndio sababu nimesimama hapa kushuhudia huyo the same same mama tumepatana na yes, siku ya leo kwa gari kama ana smile na mtoto wako mzima Bwana Yesu asifiwe <laughs> Aliniambia hiyo siku alipiga prophet nini simu akushika simu akapiga simu akapiga simu niposa prophet alikuja kumpigia baadaye akamuuliza we ni nani akamwambia mimi nimepewa namba yako na mama kwa gari akaniambia unyo akanisa akawa analia sana kwa simu ndio alikuwa ananiambia leo akawa analia sana prophet akamwambia kwani huyu mama una imani mimi ni Mungu mtoto atakufa atapona Bwana Yesu asifiwe akaniambia hiyo siku watoto watatu walikufa kinyata akasema kusema ukweli huyu mtoto wangu anaenda kukufa lakini Mungu alirestore maisha yake tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe huyo mama hata leo vile nimemuona yani amengaa ako na furaha ameniambia next week Sunday atakuja kushuhudia na Mungu apokee usifa na ujue. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord Church. Yeah, I'm Ruth James. I want to thank God for his faithfulness in my life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, as I stand here because I'm the last person and I can see people are few. I want to say that this our nation Kenya has found mercy and favor before the Lord. I am saying this because 
it is a privilege and an honor to have the kind of man of God that we have in our lives today. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, I know what is happening and I know that it is not ordinary. There is uncommon favor in this ministry. Hallelujah. And that is why when I see people coming all over the, the nation just to come and tap the grace of God, I know God is working wonders in this nation. Yes, I was seated there and when I was praying, the Lord was ministering to me and he told me, tell my people to tell them to honor the servant of God, the prophet. Praise the name of the Lord. And I was asking the Lord why, and he told me he wants to use him as a channel to be a blessing to his people. Hallelujah. And therefore, I'm calling upon my fellow Kenyans. You saw the way Nigerians embraced the man of God, TBJ, for those who know him. They supported the vision, and nothing could stand between uh, uh, him and the vision of God until he fulfilled his purpose and went to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that we be aggressive and we embrace the man of God and we believe in him. The Bible says if we believe in prophets, we shall prosper. Amen. So your prosperity is hidden in the man of God. And therefore, if we embrace uh, the man of God, I know we are going to fight in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, on Sunday, I happened to be located by the Spirit of God. I came to see the man of God one on one. Have had this problem that has been bothering me of having a bad smell uh, in my nose, in my mouth, and my social life was affected. And I didn't know what to do. Eight good years I suffered this. And I thank God that today I can stand before his people and testify to the goodness of the Lord that the Lord delivered me on Sunday. <laughs> Hallelujah. First of all, I could not, uh, I could not smell anything. I, I had lost the sense of smell. So I could not, even if you apply the, the most congoncious, uh, 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 what do we call it? Spray. I could not feel. If I go through garbages, I don't feel anything. Uh, so I had a problem indeed. And therefore, when I came here and told the man of God that just, the man of God looked at me and told me, I can see uh, uh, darkness all over you and this is a satanic attack ha, when he said it's a satanic attack I, I, I was like I was shocked and before no sooner I, I, I died gotten shocked than I found myself manifesting and then I was down and that is how that spirit left me and I want to tell you on Sunday was one of the best days because I could feel breathing clearly from down my heart. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just, want, I just want to thank God that I could sleep. I, I could hear stench now in the house. Anything that had small, I could feel the stench of it. And I knew, ah, I couldn't. Uh, when I was seated there, I was identifying myself with the, the woman who had the issue of blood. That woman suffered for 12 good years. And I said, the desperation in this woman, that meant her to go through people even though she was supposed to be isolated, uh, meant her to go and to decide in herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I am going to be healed. And the other thing that has missed me is I was meditating upon Bartimaeus, the, the same, the, the man of God has preached, and said, Bartimaeus said, no matter what people tell me, I am not going to keep quiet. I will go for my miracle. It is me who have suffered, and I know how long I suffered. Therefore, I will go for my miracle, and I will celebrate. And the, 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 the funny thing is those who were hindering the, the Bartimaeus, they were the ones who encouraged him to come. I want to thank God because there is something happening in this ministry. How I pray that God open our eyes, we embrace the grace in this place, and we celebrate as others. During the, 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 the burial of TB Joshua, they said that 60% of, of, of the tourist regime 
was was uh, was counted on his ministry so i said if 60 percent in kenya can be counted on our, on this ministry because of people coming to tap the grace of god then we will be a blessed nation so i pray that uh, uh, my heart is crying that may we embrace the, uh, the, the the man of god may we support this servant of god and i pray that as we embrace him god is going to open heavens and we are getting blessed and we will go to higher heights in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, now, now, maybe before you finish, uh, I have one question. You said you've suffered for eight years, isn't it? Have you ever gone to hospital? I just used drugs. I've never gone to hospital, but I used to use drugs. Because it happens we have uh, doctors we know so you know when you have friends who are doctors they, they they know what kind of medication you could take but i took the medication it could not help me it even up to last month i took medication it it, it is like it never helped me in any way but i thank god that when i came here just by one touch I was delivered. So, you know, something when it is not a, a, a sickness, it is an attack. An attack, you cannot give it medicine. So, when I came before the presence of God, the man of God just looked at me and told me, this is a satanic attack. Now, satanic attacks are not treated. So, the man of God, and just to command the demon, and, to le and, and it left me. And it, that's how I got my deliverance. I Amen. thank God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Love for Jesus. You go home and live for Jesus. <laughs>